What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Friday, September 4th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NBA playoffs. Let's take a look at this two game main slate. So at the point guard position, I like Russell Westbrook from the Houston Rockets playing the LA Lakers who have a good defense overall, but they're only middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. Russell Westbrook has averaged 48.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 35% usage rate. Now, he just came back a few games ago and take a look at his minutes in the last three games. They went from 23 to 27 to 33 minutes last game, so I think he's going to be out there for his full run. And he's projected at 40.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. But if he's out there for 35 plus minutes, he could easily score 45 to 50 fantasy points and crush value because he's only 8,500 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 224 points scored in this game. So I like Russell Westbrook here versus the LA Lakers. Okay guys, now the next point guard here, this was a hard pick. Uh, Goran Dragic, he's probably the best play here uh, next to Russell Westbrook, but he's been priced up to 7,200 FanDuel salary. He's uh, 7,000 on DraftKings, so his price has come way up. Now he has scored 35, 43, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games. So if you think that that's going to continue, go ahead and play Goran Dragic. But if you want to save some salary at the point guard position, why not take a look at Eric Bledsoe? I know he's not the sexiest fantasy play here, but he did play 30 minutes last game. He scored 24 fantasy points. But Eric Bledsoe from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Miami Heat who have a good defense overall, and they've been pretty good versus opposing point guards. Eric Bledsoe has averaged 30.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He's projected at 26.7 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 5,600 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 223 points scored in this game. And you've got to believe that the Milwaukee Bucks are going to come out with a punch. I think Eric Bledsoe can score 30 plus fantasy points here and get you over five times value. So I like Eric Bledsoe here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Chris Middleton from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Miami Heat, who have a good defense overall, and they've been middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards. Chris Middleton has averaged 35.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. Now take a look at his last three games. He scored 39, 45, and 45 fantasy points in 33, 37, and 33 minutes. He's projected at 37.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 7,500 FanDuel salary and 700 more on DraftKings. So I definitely prefer that FanDuel price. So I like Chris Middleton here versus the Miami Bucks. Now, if you want a value play here at the shooting guard position, take a look at Danny Green from the LA Lakers playing the Houston Rockets who have the sixth worst defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Danny Green has averaged 18.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 14% usage rate. 
He scored 19, 27, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 25, and 31 minutes. He's projected at 19.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.5 times value. He's 4,300 FanDuel salary and 200 less on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 224 points scored in this game. So I like this play just to give you some salary relief in a guy that can get you between 20, 25 fantasy points pretty consistently. So I like Danny Green here versus the Houston Rockets. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Giannis Ananakupo from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Miami Heat, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing small forwards. Giannis Ananakupo has averaged 56.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 38% usage rate. He's projected at 55.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's 10,600 FanDuel salary and 900 more on DraftKings. So I love that FanDuel price. So I like Giannis Ananakupo here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, a nice mid-range play for you here. This guy's been playing really well. I like Eric Gordon from the Houston Rockets playing the LA Lakers, who have a good defense overall, and they give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Eric Gordon has averaged 20.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. Now he scored 29, 28, and 34 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 36, 34, and 32 minutes. And that's with Russell Westbrook back on the court. He's projected at 25.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.6 times value, but he can get you close to 30 or over 30 fantasy points to get you five times value or more. He's 5,600 FanDuel salary and 200 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 224 fantasy points scored in this game. So I like Eric Gordon here versus the LA Lakers. Okay, who do we have at the power forward position? I like Anthony Davis from the LA Lakers playing the Houston Rockets, who have the sixth worst defense overall, and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Anthony Davis has averaged 50.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. But he scored 62, 41, and 67 fantasy points in the last three games. So he's projected at 55.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value because he's 11,200 FanDuel salary, but he's 800 less on DraftKings. So I like that DraftKings price. Actually, that's 600 less on DraftKings. So I like that DraftKings price. So I like Anthony Davis here versus the Houston Rockets. The other power forward that I like, this guy's been on fire. I like Robert Covington from the Houston Rockets playing the LA Lakers, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing power forwards. Robert Covington has averaged 29.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. But take a look at his last three games here. He scored 54, 47, and 43 fantasy points in his last three games, 
This guy is on fire, projected at 32.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 6,800 fan duel salary, and he's 500 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. So I like Robert Covington here versus the LA Lakers. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Brooke Lopez from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Miami Heat, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing centers. Brooke Lopez has averaged 27.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. He scored 29, 33, and 30 fantasy points in the last three games, and he's projected at 28.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value. He's 5,700 FanDuel salary and 100 less on DraftKings. So I know I've given you a bunch of Milwaukee Bucks here tonight. I would play two or three of them. I think that they're going to have a really good game against the Heat tonight. So I like Brooke Lopez here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, the other center I like, a nice mid-range play for you, is P.J. Tucker from the Houston Rockets playing the L.A. Lakers, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing centers. P.J. Tucker has averaged 21 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 9% usage rate. But take a look at his last two games. He scored 31 and 32 fantasy points, playing 39 and 38 minutes. So monster minutes. He's projected at 25.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 5,100 FanDuel salary and 300 less on DraftKings. So I like P.J. Tucker here versus the L.A. Lakers. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.